hello everyone i'm back again the new command today we will discuss about the design table how can we create the design table in katia let's see this so first we go to start mechanical design and part design and then we'll create some profile over here mm, let's say i'm creating a hexagon and giving its value Fifty. Let's put it up to fifty. And selecting the surface, and sketching over here, and creating a circle. Giving its value to fifty also. And extruding it to one fifty. So I created this one. Now we will create the design table according to this one. Uh, as you can see that we give this value. Actually, uh, la first I will tell you what is the use of design table. Uh, design table is generally used uh, for the uh, we have the different different types of nuts and bolts. So what happen when the industry uh, that according to the uh, the different different sh uh, shape and size, we don't have to create it again and again. So just you have to save it uh, by using the design table, and then use the design table. You can import the import the other uh, dimension as well as. Let's see this. Uh, click on the design table. And now here we got the design table over here. Uh, let's say I'm changing this one to uh, comment. I'm changing on design table, and here you can change the name whatever you want. And that's just there is this one uh, the created design table from a pre-existing file. Okay, if you already created a file, but you are creating a new part, then you can insert this one. But today I am checking on this one. Create a design table with current parameters value. Click on this one and then click OK. Okay, so as you can see that we are having different different values over here. So before creating the, uh, the this values, you can see the filter type. There are multiple options are available. So before creating the design table, let's first create the parameter value. So go to the formula over here. Now you can see that uh, we can see select that sketch. Now uh, you can see that uh, 50 is the length is available. So here I am changing it to upper length that is EUL. Okay, apply. Then again I am changing this changing this to that is the first length. This is you can see this one. Okay, I'm now I'm changing this to U upper height UH. Apply. It is totally depend on you whether how can you change uh, what are, what the value are you giving. I'm changing this to sketch to uh, sketch to uh, this is 50 and this is the radius value it is given. So now I'm changing it to lower radius. Apply and the height you can define it 150. That is a h lower height i click apply and okay now go to the design table uh, create a new design table and click okay so here filter type i'm changing this to uh, rename parameter which i already renamed you can see that all the parameters are available here okay i'm changing the parameter all the inserting to under in the inserted parameters and click okay so now it will ask to save the file okay let's say i'm sa uh, saving it to design table one or my table whatever you want i can save it uh, this file i click save so after saving it will open the design table with the different uh, with the with the same value which i given in this uh, part So as you can see that uh, one uh, one is upper height is 50 that is upper length is 50 this one uh, a length a lower height that is 150 and lower radius that is 25 click apply it is updated now if you want to change the value click edit table so as you click on the edit table now you can see uh, different different values over here so as you can see that excel is open over open here so you can set according to this one now uh, the upper the first one is here now i want to change this one third one uh, like upper height i'm defining it to 100 
and upper line I'm defining into 100 also and this one I'm defining it to 300 and lower radius I'm defining it to 50 so you can change this one again again also like I'm 25 and 25 okay and then this one I'm giving to 75 and this one I'm giving to 12.5 okay now I'm saving this and closing this one so it will automatically update as you can see that uh, this showing the file the design table one has been modified the design table has been synchronized with this file now close it so which one you want just select this one and apply on that the part will automatically change or just click over it apply on that and okay part will automatically get changed as you can see so this is the use of design table you can see and the design table over here also so that's it In the previous video, uh, you can you see that uh, uh, how can we create the design table with the part uh, new design table as you can see here create a design table with current parameters value. Okay, now I'm I'm going to use the create a design table from a pre-existing file. Okay, so let's say I'm closing this one. I don't know. I'm not going to save this one. Start mechanical design and part design. Okay, same way I'm selecting all the on this thing now same thing i'm creating over here i'm giving a value uh, something around 40 I'm going to extrude it up to 40 and selecting the plane again sketching over here and creating a circle over here that is of 40 radius 40 diameter now that is created and we will extrude it to uh, 120 and giving the reverse direction okay so this one is created over here now what i am going to do i am going to do design insert the new table again click on the design table you can change the value also now i am going to create a design table from a pre-existing file just click ok so we have to select the file over sub i save this one as a my table and then click ok so it is asking that do you want to automatically associate columns of the design table and parameters of the model that have the same name ok so same name I didn't define this same name uh, let's say I am clicking over no now as you can see that is uh, uh, clicking on the configuration and that is uh, defined with the uh, name but it is not associated over here so let's say first I am clicking I am defining uh, all the values over here so just clicking on the sketch I am defining this one uh, this is the upper uh, you upper length and apply now and this one I am defining this one to 40 mm that is upper height clicking apply same way I am defining this one as lower radius and uh, this one I'm defining as lower height. Now click apply and okay. Now going to insert the design table again. Key the design table. Click OK. Now select the design table. Uh, my table. So I'm saying I'm saying the yes. So let's see on the associate over here. So as you can see that the parameter is already assigned with this value as you can see. Okay. Just uh, click on the configuration. Now click on the any value whichever you want click on the apply that it will change automatically over to these values okay uh, you can change this value to this one again you can change this one again or you can edit the table also uh, when you click on the edit suppose I wanted to 40 and here also 140 this one I want 120 and this one I want as 20 now saving it control s and closing this one so again we got the proper notification that the file design table has been modified click ok and uh, select the bottom one and then apply and then click ok so in this way as you can see uh, the design table 1 and design table 2 which we used here now let's check on the uh, sketch as you can, we can see that this is the 40 now okay so in this way we can use the design table thank you